What's going on? I hope everyone's having a good day so far. We're headed up here for day 44 on Boulder Mountain. We've got Hugo, Austin, and me. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go up here. A little bit of a late start today. And we'll see where the day goes. Snow is still hard down here. That was close. <laughs> Get on! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Hugo? All right, guys, today we're doing something a little different. We're down back, way back actually, in Boulder Mountain here. And we drop down through the Alpine, and we're in the trees here. It's snowing. And we're going to spend the night just with you know, what's on our box and what's on our sleds, basically. We didn't bring anything extra up with us today. Just what we carry on a normal day. And yeah, we're gonna spend the night. At the start of the year, I said, oh, it'd be kind of neat to spend the night. And then I thought maybe I'd make it a little bit more luxury. But I think the point of doing it is to make it realistic. So we didn't bring anything extra up with us today. We got Hugo, we got Austin. Hugo, what kind of backcountry experience do you got? Uh, I've been 10 years in the military, so I've slept a couple of times outside. I'm not an expert, I'm not claiming myself, but I do have a little couple of tips in my pocket. So we'll try to uh, make it uh, make it happen tonight and see uh, what we can do with uh, what we bring. Austin. I um, have little to no experience. Been camping back home, nothing in this environment. So it'll be a cool learning experience. See what's on my pack, what I use, what I don't and uh, excited to try and make it through. <laughs> uh, I've definitely never stayed up in the mountain. I've had to come out like latest, probably like nine o'clock. And uh, I've definitely done some camping, but nothing too extreme. So it's kind of the perfect time to be doing this too, because we don't have the best snow conditions. The weather's not too cold, although it is snowing out, which could complicate things a bit. Cause if you got snow falling on you all night and then you're really damp and snowy and it'll make things pretty miserable. So we're gonna have to build a pretty nice shelter here. And so I think we're gonna build our shelter between these two trees right here. A uh, bit of a lean to, to reflect the heat from our fire, which is gonna be right here. And then probably build a bit of a snow wall in the front to also reflect the heat into us. Uh, we're all gonna sleep kind of side by side. So, you know, the most warmth 
yeah, I guess we'll just get started. It's already getting pretty late in the day here. So we definitely didn't put in a full day of riding, but we got out there for some. Wanted to make it realistic, right? So we acted as if we're going out there, we put in a day of riding, and then it was time to head back to the trucks, but we couldn't get back. <laughs> So me and Hugo were shoveling here, but uh, he kind of made the suggestion that me and Austin should both collect wood while it's light out. So one of the nice things right now is the snow's not very deep, so it's pretty easy to walk up a little bit to get some trees. But if there was three feet of snow, you wouldn't want to walk very far. So you kind of want to make sure you set up near some dead wood, which we did, but of course you want to find nice dead dry wood if you can. It's getting dark now. Uh, I've been at it for almost two hours. Still sawing away. The shelter's starting to look like something back there. And uh, I'm already tired of cutting. And the night has just begun. We got our fire going. Building a bit of a wall here to reflect the heat into our shelter in there. That's where we're all going to lay in there, feet in the back head out here and uh, we just need a bit of a bedding so we're not laying on the cold snow. How are you feeling so far? Three hours in. I've definitely slowed down a little bit. Uh, at the start I was working pretty hard. Maybe got a little bit too hot, a little bit sweaty. So I kind of realized that and slowed down and I'm just chugging along, staying warm, staying busy. My suit's pretty saturated here. I've been doing a lot of shoveling and sawing late or kneeling in the snow. Getting some protein back in me now. How you doing, Hugo? Pretty good. Actually uh, dry. It just, I'm just concerned about how the fire is going to go down and yeah, it's, it's going to uh, lose uh, some heat. Definitely going to lose some. We might have to shovel out our, uh, our den. Yeah. Unfortunately. I don't know how you really keep it up though. Looks like the snow stopped falling. The sky's pretty bright. Well, we're already kind of learning our first lesson here. We failed with uh, the fire and predicting how far it was going to burn down here. So our shelter is too high. So we're moving the pine boughs over and we're going to dig out about a foot, maybe a little more. And then uh, put the pine boughs back in. Now th that'll create more space in here. So less heat, which is unfortunate, but it it'll be a lot of work to lower the entire tire shelter currently on a firewood mission here uh, oh my god i cannot find any dead trees around here i don't know picked a bad spot there was like four or five dead trees right where we were but other than that there's nothing <laughs> how's it staying there
Well, I really haven't been filming too much here tonight as honestly, we've just been non-stop working. I think it's about 10 o'clock now. Let me check here. 10.45 now and I haven't stopped for more than five minutes all night. We've just been collecting wood, building the shelter. We've got a pretty good stockpile now. Still fighting with the fire, trying to keep it from sinking right to the ground. I'm not sure the best way to avoid that other than like cutting up big logs and putting them down as a bed first. Well, well, we got the fire roaring here. I think we're gonna try and get some sleep before it cools off. What do you got there? <laughs> a doorbell bag? <laughs> a sleeping bag? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your blanket? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you can cover us all with that. Grab my warm puffy layer out of here. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, That's interesting. Oh, I get all right, guys, how you feeling about uh, the night? Pretty excited. Excited. <laughs> this is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll uh, see what happens, I'm sure. We'll have a night update here in like an hour when we're awake and cold. Nighty night. Well. My shoulder's still sore from being dislocated. Can only sleep in uh, certain positions. So I'm not getting good rest. The sky's beautiful. And it's not too cold. Just after 1 a.m. now, I think I got close to an hour of sleep. Woke up a little chilly. Well, how's that whole sleeping thing going? <laughs> Very good. Not, not too good. <laughs> this is a crock of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my blanket. <laughs> Got some good sleep on that sit in, I think. These guys have been up for a bit, uh, stoking the fire here. I think we're pretty much out of wood. Our big stockpile is uh, depleted. Yeah, we got about 45 minutes of uh, probably good heat before deciding if we want to back out. No. Oh. Well, no, at that time it won't be backing out. It'll be, do we want to cut another tree down to last 40 minutes or slowly pack up and make our way out? It's definitely uh, cold. I woke up frozen. <laughs> frozen? No, like I swear to God, my hand was frozen. I woke up in shock. I like om plowed over Hugo to get to the fire <laughs> and I almost fell on the fire. <laughs> so uh, I think the biggest learning I got out of this is maybe I should, I need more uh, warm layers. Well, I don't think we're gonna lay down to sleep again. So we're gonna shovel our bench back a bit since our bed is way too high. And we're just gonna make somewhere to sit here nice and close to the fire. So as far as you can see, Kind of high. Going on another little wood run here. It's pretty bright out. The sun's not coming up yet. I think we'll wait to head out until it's like getting light out anyway. But we do have a pretty nasty creek to, to kind of drop out to get out of here, so. Well, look at that. It's light out. We made it. We didn't have to head back. Hard to tell, but that hole is huge now compared to what we started with.
that helmet looks really nice to put on. Sorry? Which wheel are we taking? We'll just go down out through here. Well, I guess we know we have the skills to spend a night in the backcountry. Uh, Did I do it again by choice? Probably not. Was it that bad? Not really. Alright, it's the following evening, just editing up this video. We had a ton of fun out there last night. No. Um, it was an interesting night. We definitely learned some things. It wasn't too terrible, but a couple things you definitely want to keep in mind if you have to spend the night on the mountain is your, your shelter and your fire. Like, for some reason we didn't foresee the fire burning right down to the ground. I thought it would build up a big enough bed of ashes at some point that it would stop sinking, but that didn't happen. It went right to, right to the ground. So. You uh, pretty much, I guess, have to start your fire right on the ground. I don't know if that means shoveling out like three meters of snow, which is an insane amount of work, or finding a spot with less snow, like in a tree well or something. But uh, yeah, we kind of failed there because our shelter was pretty high up. We had good intentions with it, but it uh, didn't end up being that warm. So by the end of the night, we were more so just like in the hole right around the fire, getting smoked out. Second thing, you definitely want to have a good saw. I had a straight blade, the other guys had folding saws. My saw seemed to cut way better than theirs. Uh, being able to cut wood fast and efficiently makes a huge difference. I thought about bringing like my battery powered Milwaukee saw out there, but I actually haven't carried it yet this year. So I'm like, no, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm just gonna bring the old traditional saw. Um, so yeah, good saw, because cutting wood is a full-time job. And then you definitely want to have warm layers. I'm always prepared with warm layers and lots of extra gloves. So I was pretty much dressed as warm as I could be. If it was any colder, I would have, I would have struggled, but uh, luckily it's not that cold here too often. Anyway, thanks for following the journey. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow.